This is Kate Havnevik. I have a new album called Lightship. I wrote this album with Guy Sigsworth, and we took some time talking to our friend and Norwegian music journalist Per Sundnes about each track on the album. In this episode, we're talking about Belong. Much too late, I tried my best. Had your name around my neck. Track seven, Belong. This is an ordinary instrument. Even I know what this is, so you don't have to explain <laughs> to me, Guy. This is the piano. Yeah, you've got to have a piano somewhere. I, I, you know, I, it's all very well having your hang drums and stuff, but sometimes there's, the piano still has something. And I think what I like about this tune in particular is there's nothing wrong with being naive. It's easy to get overly obsessed with sophistication, and I love being sophisticated, but... Sometimes, you know, just um, surrendering to something very simple and melodic uh, is, is wonderful. Yeah. It's one of those simple melodies that Guy started playing where I just naturally just started singing. It just became a song very quickly. Uh, mm. And all I had to do was write the words. It was uh, when I first sat down and really put my mind to it, I wrote it quite quickly. It's actually one mm. of the very personal songs on the on the record as well. And, you know, about wanting something but losing something. And, um, and yeah, and, and kind of, I mean, there are so many things in life uh, you can't control. Some things you can, but some things are completely out of your reach. It's not up to you. And um, basically it's, it's, yeah, it's a... I mean, I can say it's very personal because it's really about me wanting to have a child and uh, and trying to have a child many times and and being very close to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to it and seeing sort of hope, but not really being able to, like every time you reach for it, it disappears. Um, and you feel a little bit like, like maybe you did something wrong or maybe not or you know but you have an idea of how it should be and how it should belong to you in a way that child uh, so yeah that's very sort of a, a but, personal song yeah but don't you think that very many people find find uh, comfort in in a text like this and i do i do think i it's think because we don't talk about these things yeah, because exactly. it's so troublesome mm -hmm. and and hurtful for for you as yeah. uh, so it must be very easy to 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 write it down and sing it yeah it's very it's it's like you know it's like writing about a loved one except this loved one you haven't met and might never meet and in a way it's sort of uh you know, uh, five times that I've ne nearly had this child by my side, but I, 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 I didn't get it. And it's sort of, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those impossible things that you cannot control. And I think a lot of people will actually identify with this mm -hmm. song and these lyrics. And I, I know a lot of people who will. And there's more and more about this in the media. Yeah, we don't talk about it because there's some kind of... Uh, exactly, and when I sing, you know, Blinking in the Dark, it's actually, you know, that's what it looks like when you see the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, almost like a light ship far, far away oh. blinking for you, you know, but then it disappears. So it goes well into, into the album as one of the more vulnerable personal songs and I think you know that's why I also love the the simple piano melody it's nothing you know dramatic nothing no fuzz it's just very simple um love that you want to love someone that you might never meet yeah so uh, yeah it's it's uh I don't uh I don't think there's anything more to say about it because I think it's uh, it's a simple wish, and it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself, yeah. 
I want you here.